Hey guys, Aaron here. Sometimes we got to cut grass in the rain, is what it is. <clears throat> Today I want to talk a little about how we do that. Since it's a rainy day, I thought it was a perfect opportunity. Let's go inside and we'll talk more. Well, that's better. <clears throat> guys, sometimes we got to cut in the rain. I mean, it is what it is. That's the nature of our business. And if you got to cut in the rain, you got to cut in the rain. You still need to make the money. You might as well be doing it professionally. <clears throat> so I don't cut grass anymore, but I cut grass for years and years and years. And uh, now I strictly construction, but I know how to cut grass professionally and I know how to keep things clean and profitable still. So when it's pouring down rain and you have to still cut the grass and you let's start off with a push mower, whether it's self propelled propelled or just a normal push mower, you know, your 21 inch standard mower. Um, first things first is you got to use the bagging system. You got to take out the plug, uh, the mulching plug, get that out of there. You need to put your bagging system on, have the bag ready to go. You need to make sure your blades are sharp because it's like night and day cutting wet long grass with a sharp blade opposed to um, a dull blade. And you also need to make sure the deck is clean underneath. So we always keep a scraper on the truck. And that's what we used to do. And we would flip the lawnmower on its side before we started cutting with the air filter up, give it a quick scrape, make sure everything's good, put it back down with our sharp blade. And then we use uh, big gray buckets. That's what we use. I think they're like, I don't even know, 70 gallon buckets. And we bring that around everywhere we go when it's raining or when we're bagging <clears throat> because the bag is going to get dumped into that bucket. Uh, instead of walking back and forth to the truck, you dump it in the bucket. You can usually set it on a lawnmower when it gets heavy and push it around uh, when you're going to front to back to side, wherever you're going with your mower. So back to cutting the grass. Sometimes when it's pouring, you got to use the bag. And first things first, you do your perimeter, you know, you're going around, then you start doing your lines. You're going to be dumping that bag very often because as soon as it starts getting like half to three quarters full, give it a little tap. You'll see it start getting fatter there as you're going. Give it a little tap with your foot, get a little kick. Yeah, when it's getting full, time to dump it in your gray bucket. Keep your gray bucket right there beside you, whether it's in a garden bed or right there beside the driveway. And you leave your lawnmower, you go over there, get your gray bucket, come back. Um, you know, you open up your bag, dump it all in, empty it out. Make sure the chute where it's firing the grass into the bag is clear. If it's not, then, you know, if the lawnmower's off, just grab it with your hand. That's clump and throw it into the to the, your garbage bin. Put your garbage bin out of the way, put your bag back on, start her back up and continue. You're going to do a few more lines, three, four lines, depending on how big your lawn is, and it's going to collect the grass again. Don't wait until it gets completely full. What you, half three quarters, dump it again. Have your bucket ready to go, shake it out your grass, check your chute, and that's that. <clears throat> now, sometimes you're going to have to flip that thing over, which is unfortunate. You're going to have to take it out to the street or into a garden bed somewhere. Air filter up, flip it on its side, give it a quick scrape, get all that excess crap. If it's long and wet, it's going to be sticking to the deck. Just scrape it all off quickly, um, pick it up, throw it in your gray bucket, flip it back over, start her up and continue cutting. Just remember to dump your bags often. Um, if you're using something bigger around here, uh, walk behind mower is standard 48 inches. That's what everybody seems to have, whether it's a stand on or a walk behind. It's a 48 inch deck. <clears throat> Again, the bagging system is worth the money. Um, so put your plate on, put your bag on, and again, have your gray bucket. The gray bucket can sit on the deck of that and you can drive it around when it's heavy uh, to go dump it at the truck or get it from A to B, whatever. Um, just watch you don't burn it with the, the bucket with the muffler. That's happened in the past. But regardless, again, you set your bucket over there by the driveway or in a garden bed where you're cutting and you're going to have to cut with your bagging system on going back and forth. You're doing your passes, two or three lines. Get that thing off when it starts getting full, not all the way full, half to three quarters. You want to get that big heavy thing and start dumping it, shake it all out into your gray bucket, hook it all back up, make sure your chute's fine and clear to shoot it all into the bucket. And again, you're going to do passes back and forth, back and forth until it starts getting full again. And you're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> it's a must, you know, um, big machine, 60 inch, zero turn, whatever you're using. Same thing. If you've got the bagging system back there, do your passes. Boom, boom, back, forth, back, forth, three, four, five, whatever, however many passes. When those bags you think are starting to get full, shut her down, hop off, get your gray bucket, dump all your bags out, make sure the chute's clean. Again, start doing passes again. Now, there's going to be lawnmower puke. That's what we call it in the industry here. <clears throat> That's when you shut the blades down on any of these lawnmowers and it just, blah, all the grass and clumps and crap just falls onto the ground. You got to 
know where you're doing it. You got to remember that happens and you want to shut this thing down uh, closer to the street if you have to, or closer to a garden bed, right? Not right there at the front walkway and definitely not on a walkway, not on a hardscape, not on the driveway. Don't shut those blades off anywhere like that because it's just going to puke everything out onto the driveway. You're going to try and clean it up. It's going to leave a green stain. It's not professional. Don't do that at all. Do it on the, on the grass down by the street, closest to your trailer or your truck, shut the blades down, back that machine up a bit, pick all that a lot more puke up, throw it in your gray bucket or in your bag or whatever you have, clean it all up and move on. Now, after you do that, you're going to start your machine and you want to get it back to the trailer. Do not drive across someone's driveway. Do not drive across someone's walkways. It's just totally unprofessional leaving those uh, green tracks everywhere if you don't have to. Some, some instances you may have to, but try not to whatsoever because the neighbors are going to notice this uh, this stuff between you and maybe their landscaper. Cause a lot of hacks out there, they'll just drive right across the driveway. They'll let the lawnmower puke, they'll leave it all over the grass. The, they'll shut the blades off on the driveway or a walkway and just let it all fall down. And then they'll think, Oh, I'll just clean it up with the blower. They gave it a quick blow. They've got, you know, crap all over the grass. They've left They clumps everywhere and stains all over the driveway. Well, when people see you cleaning up and keeping things professional and not doing that the best you can, and they see those guys next door uh, doing that, who do you think they want to hire? Who do you think they're going to pay more? They're going to pay you because you're doing a professional job and them, well, not so much, you know? Um, but yeah, cleaning up after yourself is a major thing when it's raining. You have to keep everything clean the best you can. Yes, it's going to take longer, but this is the professional way. This is how you get paid more because you are then essentially better than the other guys. And that's what you want. You want to try and up the other people. So those neighbors will hire you and you get that house to do in this house, right? It just makes sense. So if you're acting professionally, if you're cutting grass professionally, you're going to get more work. That's what we always did. And uh, that's the kind of things that people pick up on and they notice. That's why they would always hire us to do uh, their landscape maintenance in these high-end uh areas that we used to cut uh, and maintain. But yeah, it's a pain. Everybody knows that cutting in the rain. It is what it is. It's got to be done. We have to make money. Um, so just make sure you do it professionally. That's the only thing you can do. We bag this stuff and we would take it away. We would haul it away and we would just pay to have it dumped and whatever. We would suck it up. We would just work that into the uh, cost of the per month price that we would do at these houses. Um, but uh, ideally, you're not hauling the grass away because it costs money. You can leave it in a bag at the curb if you want. You can discuss with your customer what you'd want to do, but that's what we used to do. Um, ideally, you could mulch it. Like we want it every time we can. We want to mulch and leave all that. It's good for the lawn. It's good for the grass. It's good for us. We don't have to dump it. Um, but when it's raining, you got to mulch. You got to bag it and get it out of there. There's no way around it. If you just try and spray it everywhere and clean it up with the blower, it's going to be a nightmare to clean up, and you're just going to waste your time. And it's not a professional job. It's going to be all over the side of the house. It's going to be in the garden beds on the driveway. Just Try your best to keep the grass on the grass and any cut grass in a bag or a bucket and get it out of there. <clears throat> Guys, thanks for being here. I've got tons of other videos. If you want to watch them on landscaping, I've been doing this 16 years. I've been in the industry for 27 years. Um, yeah, I have lots of videos out and I keep putting them out on how I deal with certain situations and how I've uh, made decent money with this landscape business and how you can too. Please like the video and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon.